My name is John James Slack, and I am coming from the University of Akron, and my major is chemical engineering with a minor in physics and applied mathematics. At NASA Glenn Research Center, I'm working on lithium ion charge control technology. What most people think of as a battery is actually a cell. And you have to have more than one cell in series to create a battery. The individual cells have a slightly different internal chemistry and that will, over time, create a battery that has slightly varying charges in their individual cells. When you put current into a cell to recharge the battery after it's been discharged fully, then it's going to uniformly charge all of the cells. That means that the stronger cell will be getting too much charge put into it, and that can cause thermal runaway, which can cause rapid explosions. It's like a balloon getting filled with too much air. So what charge control does is it makes sure that you divert some of that charge or air from the balloon. I was basically coming in here pretty fresh. I, as a chemical engineer, I didn't know hardly any electrical engineering, and I've done a lot of electrical engineering, and I feel like this has been such a great opportunity to, for me to um, branch out and be able to understand a concept that I before would not have understood or wouldn't have been introduced to. One of the most important things that I learned while I was here was learning to work with other people as, as a team and be an integral part of that team. I could not have garnered these experiences in the same way as just an academic experience because there are times when I'll have to study with people or work on maybe a group project from a class, but something as massive as a NASA Glenn project where my findings could really be applied to real life applications and in the International Space Station or satellites moving forward, uh, I could not have gotten this without having been here at the NASA Glenn Research Center. If I were to compare the semester that I've spent here at Glenn to a semester that I've spent in school, there's so much more that you'll be learning and it's so accelerated because there's just, you're in working with professionals. There's still theory that we're using here. I've had to use a lot of calculus in the programming that I've done, and I'm sure that will help my schooling going forward, but overall, I think there's much more that I've learned this semester than maybe even uh, all of the years of college that I've had so far. When you think electrochemistry, you don't necessarily think, oh, well, that's automatically going to use linear algebra and calculus and uh, multivariable equations. Uh, but it goes into it, and I'm very grateful that I've had all of the training that I've had before this in order to perform my tasks as they needed to be performed. I feel like this research is so important because we can literally save lives. With, without charge control, uh, people on the International Space Station could potentially face some problems. If the batteries on satellites fall apart or, or even explode, or I mean, even if not explode, then they could degrade in life and that could shorten missions and we wouldn't be able to collect as much data or people wouldn't have the lifespan of the satellite for communications and all of those could cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. And so without this research, a lot could go wrong. Having some practical experience before you're out of college is so valuable to an employer as well as yourself. And that really is an experience that I would not say anyone should miss. The unique part of NASA is really that there's so much here that I can utilize, that there are different branches that are working on completely different applications. There are fuel people, there are aerospace people, there are mechanical people, biomedical, and the experiences that I have asking these people questions is a really, really unique experience. It's like I'm going to some type of conference where the greatest unique minds of the world gather and I get to just ask these people to my heart's content what they know 